Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P and in this video I'll show you how to set it up and play Starcraft Brood War on your Galaxy tablet. Let's begin. I'm showing you how to get this game running on a tablet environment instead of Samsung DeX and the reason being that one of the main functionalities of the game, which is right mouse button, doesn't work inside DeX environments. It's a bit of a hard to control your troops inside the game when one of the main functionalities just doesn't work in DeX UI. And everybody out there with Galaxy Fold phones, you can use this tutorial to get the game running on your phone. If you unfold your phone, you will get a similar like a mini tablet version and I do believe the screen aspect ratio and size will be more than enough for you to enjoy this game and play on the go. That's all you will need just to connect Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse. First thing what you need to do is get the files downloaded. If you'll go to description section of this video you'll find the link. Click on the link and you will find free files that you need to download to get all this set up. I already have all this downloaded so if I'm gonna go into something my files and the downloads folder I'll get you will see ignore the folders for now I'll see the four free files the last three files that's what you will download for, by using a link in description below. First is SCBW, which is a StarCraft Brood War game and all the files that you need to get the game running. Exeg APK, which we will sideload. And then the Exeg data file that you need to move copy into your Android local, Android internal storage to get Exeg app is running. So first thing what you need to do, you need to click on SCBW and inside the Samsung My Files, click Extract just to get the game extract. As you can see, it's telling me that do I want to replace everything because I already done that prior to the recording. And then if I click on a com dot data file, as I click extract, and basically you need to click extract, and as you can see, it's telling me already to skip it because I already done it. So once you extract both archived files, you will get these two folders. So now we can install XG app. I'm gonna click on XG to install, and I'll be presented with a pop up telling me that I can. I need to basically accept installation. If you're not getting this pop up, that means that Samsung My Files don't have a permission to install unknown sources. Android will give you a guide how to go and get that enabled. So once you get that enabled, go back into your downloads folder and start XG installation again. So here we go. Um, XG has been installed. Do not run the app, otherwise you will get the error message. Instead, click done. So once that, when you click done, you need to click on this folder and make copy of it. Go into Android internal storage, then find the folder called Android, which is somewhere at the top, and then click in OBB, and then click copy here. So once you've done that, app will work. So if I'm gonna minimize this, I'm gonna run the Exeg app, as you can see, the app is asking me for read and write permissions. I'm going to say yes. And right now it's saying starting up, unpacking, please wait. If you haven't copied the data file into an Android internal storage, you will get error message instead of this uh, process where it's saying unpacking the files. So give a second or so for this to finish. And once it's done, you will see the main window of XG app. First thing what you need to do is need to create a container, set up resolution and colors, install additional files, and then you can start playing the game. So let's start by clicking on the top left three lines and click manage containers. Then on the top right hand side, click on a plus sign and the container will be created. Click on the three dots and click on the properties. What I like to do is rename the container of the game that I'm playing. So I'm, I'm gonna write StarCraft, BW stands for StarCraft Brute Wars. Screen resolution I will choose 640 by 480. Color depth is 32 bits. Everything else by default except text you leave off, on and off in this order. That's once all this done, you click back on the arrow and then click on the three dots again. Now click install packages and select all these just by ticking next to them and click OK. App will automatically restart and will take you back to containers management page. Now what you can do is click on the three dots and press Run Explorer. Now what app is doing is starting the Windows emulator and it's presenting you a quick pop-up exactly which uh, what kind of um, actions you can get by interacting with the touch screen. Obviously I have a Bluetooth mouse connected so I don't need that. And as you can see there's a file explorer already open which is by default always opens into a downloads folder. As you can see this is all the files that I showed you inside, inside the Samsung My Files. They showing here with the data file extracted, the actual game and these three files that you downloaded using the link in the description below. I will, I will double click on SCBW and click again, double click inside and here we go, I have all the files here. Next step is optional but what I like to do is I like right click on an exe file which starts any game. I'll click create a link and what that does, if I'll close the emulator by pressing on an X, 
under three lines under desktop, I have a shortcut, which basically is much faster for me to click on the shortcut instead of going to manage containers, then a three dots, then a run explorer. As soon as app starts, it's always going to open this des desktop page by default. I'm just click once and uh, the extra gear will start emulator, find the game and will start the game automatically. So as you can see, game is started. So now what I need to do is click on this, skip the intro. And now I'm just going to click on this icon to full screen the game. Obviously right now it's a bit stretched because this is four by three aspect ratio and my tablet is definitely not four by three, but I don't mind to game being a bit more stretched. Uh, and uh, the reason being like I, these black lines on the side, I'd rather lose the lines than actually complain about the game is being like a bit stretched to left and right. Um, this gray bar at the top, is gives you a couple of quick shortcuts. So this first one, as you can see, full screen off and off, on and off, turn on and on keyboard, and then bring the pop-up message to with all the interactions with their touchscreen inputs and then the X will close emulator. So I'm going to leave as it is to remove the gray bar at the top. You use three fingers to tap on the screen and the gray bar disappears. And now I can go and start playing this game. So I'm going to quickly go through a setup, pick first race, click through and here we go. And now if I'll go skip this, as you can see, I picked a, I picked a torrent and if I'm click, press the right click, as you can see, it's interacting inside the game. This right click will not work inside Samsung Dex, which is a bit of the, a bummer because this game would work amazingly on the much, much bigger screen. But sadly, like I said, it doesn't work with the, uh, with the touch screen, uh, with the Dex, uh, inside the Dex, sorry, because of the uh, just right mouse button doesn't work. So I'm quickly just gonna go and try to, as you can see, it's, it's, the game runs exactly like I remembered when I was playing back in the day on my Pentium 2, I think I had, or Pentium 1. I had a computer that was not fast enough, not powerful enough to run this game. And now I'm playing this game on my tablet. So uh, we live, we definitely live in the future. Here we go. Here we attack. Okay, here we go. Yes, I'm getting instructions from commander that I'm, I'm probably uh, interacting with my troops incorrectly. Anyway, StarCraft Brood War running perfectly on my Samsung Galaxy tablet. And I 100%, almost 100% sure it's gonna run perfectly on the Samsung Folds. So if anybody out there who's gonna do this, please let me know in the comment section below how this game is performing on, a Samsung, on your Samsung Fold phone. And if you don't mind, just Send me a couple of photos or quick short video just to see how how this game is basically running on your fault because I have Note 9, I don't have fault phone, so I can't really test that. Anyway, thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.